Can, can you cut a nuclear magnet? Well, apparently yes you can. Cuttings here, two pieces made. Um, the boat is still magnetic. I haven't really verified how much I've lost. Ah, uh, three to five seconds of grinding. What a Dremel. What a cool. Repeat. For quite some time. Just to conclude this video, um, I do not recommend trying to cut those new linear magnets like I did. Um, it's probably not the wisest thing. Uh, taking a little a paragraph from Wikipedia. Nuclear metal dust is combustible and therefore an explosion hazard. So uh, that's not very good. Um, I didn't see that and uh, mine was wet um, because I had to keep the magnet cool to keep the magnetism, you know, keep it from overheating. So I didn't see that, but I didn't cater for that. I did not at the time think about it. Um, Nuclear compounds, as with all rare earth metals, are of low to moderate toxicity. However, toxicity has not been thoroughly tested. That's interesting. Um, so Neolium dust and salts are very irritating to the eyes and mucous membranes and moderately irritating to the skin. Breaking the dust can cause lung embolisms and accumulated exposure damages, damages the liver. Right, well, yeah, I don't think I used a uh, mass dust mass, but again, I probably got away from most of that simply because at all points in time the metal was pretty much wet anytime it dried out i just put some more water so the magnet never really created much dust it was mostly a thick sludgy thing that was coming but it probably isn't the smartest thing to do considering they don't know the toxicity they don't know very much uh, hmm, yeah <laughs> So I'm not recommending this to anyone, I'm just saying it could be done and if you decide to take a hard drive magnet and shape it some other way because you want another shape magnet, it could be done. Again, very clearly, not recommending it. I guess that's what YouTube is good at, showing other people doing stuff that you probably shouldn't do yourself.